Hello everybody, my name is Chris, welcome to another VR tutorial. This one's going to be a really quick one, just because it's showing off how to um, connect RiftCat to your phone and connect Trinus VR to your phone. So in this one, uh, RiftCat, you're going to just download the client for the PC. I'm going to provide the link in the description down below. And then whenever you do that, you're going to see this little thing pop up here. Uh, you're going to have to choose which connection you want to go off of, so just do automatic search all online interfaces. You're going to want to click, get it on Google Play, and it'll open up your browser, and then it will you'll be able to just download to your phone from there, just however you want to do that. But I'll also provide a link for it in the description down below. And then you're going to want to pull open VRidge. And then whenever you hit pull it open, I'm recording it. You're seeing my phone on the screen right now. You see VRidge. It says your phone connect to it. Um, you'll want to compare the phone number, or not the numbers, but this number that's shown right there. You're going to want to compare those between the things. And yes, connect for it there. And this shows up. Right now it's the time limited version. You only get 10 minutes to play with it. But then you get settings just to mess with different stuff. So like... How much is being sent through there? I like I like keeping it around 10 bit rate just because the Wi-Fi is uh, sometimes tricky. Media encoders, you just get to change all that stuff. That's up for every person to decide. I got to have I have it where it's set up perfect for my phone. So you want to tweak around with this as much as you can, just try to get it where it works for your phone. Yeah, that's not relevant or anything. None of that right there. So let's just close right there. So just to show off how this works for right here, we're just going to go to, you can uh, open Steam VR, open Oculus Rift games through here. I'm not going to show those off right now just because that's not relevant for how to connect to it. So we have, RiftCat has its own set of games and stuff like this. So we're not going to go to any, or actually we are going to go to, the, we're going to go to Coffee with Words right here. And it's going to show you everything that's on the whole Coffee with Words thing. So you see right here, Vridge pops up and you can see on this phone how it just popped up the VR stuff. Made with Unity just popped up on here. So we're awaiting the Steam VR game to stream to the phone. Um, my Wi-Fi is being a little slow right now, so it's probably going to be a bit of a laggy experience on the phone. But depending on how your Wi-Fi is, and if you can get it to a... Oh, it's not responding. There we are. And then you want to click B to recenter. So, recentered. Here we are. So as you can see right now, you're seeing it how it sees how it shows it on the computer. Got a lot of motion blur. I hate the motion blur for this. But then the phone is also controlling it. You're seeing both of them. So yeah, depending on how you set this up, it could be a lot smoother. If you have really good Wi-Fi, then this will be a lot smoother than how it usually it, or how it is right now. But if you have um, a wired connection, that's going to be even better. Um, since it is using a phone, ex phone accelerometer, you saw how it got a little laggy right there. It gets off kilter a little bit, so you guys you have to readjust every now and then. But all in all, this is not bad for just phone VR, phone grade VR, which is really nice just to be able to have this. So we're just going to exit this real quick. All right, well, the next one we have here is Trinus VR. This is the Trinus VR client. It's really, ba this is the basic version. And then we have the, you can obviously see my phone on there as well. I'm going to move this over a little bit so we have a bit more room for the phone, I guess. But um, really just to set it up, we're just going to click this little triangle button right there. Uh, we, wait, before we do that, we can connect to Wi-Fi and US, or, or USB. Um, wi or USB is obviously quicker, but Wi-Fi is the easier one to set up. So, like with the V-Ridge one. So, let's just click these little triangles, and you'll see on the phone, you can see the Trinus VR client now. We're going to click off of there, and actually, let's go to my desktop real quick. You can now see my desktop on the phone. Um, it depends on how you want to set it up. All the, Trinus VR is the more customizable of the options for this. Okay, let's... That's getting a little irritating because the phone's also controlling it, so I'm going to back out of um, controlling it like that. So let's go back to Trinus up here. Um, hold on, let me close that as well. Man, I'm getting everything popping up. But Trinus VR, it reads the map, it reads the movement data. That needs to stop making those noises. Okay, so there we go. Trinus VR is the more complicated one. He's, these are a lot of the settings right there. Close that too. These are a lot of the settings that you can change. I'm not going to go through all this. There's a lot of different threads and different um, videos on how to set all this up. But this is the setup I have for all this. We're going to go to advanced mode. I like advanced mode a bit better because you get to control how everything is, like, more intricately. So, network, video, sensors, position tracker. You can't really do position tracker on this very well. But, yeah, um, it's really, it's a lot more difficult than the um, V-Ridge one. Yeah, lost my train of thought. But uh, Trinus is a lot more complicated than V-Ridge, but it is a lot more customizable, and it works on a lot more things. This only works on Steam VR, Oculus Rift, and Rift Cat games, whereas this, you saw, it literally worked on my desktop. This works for literally everything that uses a mouse, because it uses the rotation and acceler not accelerometer, gyroscope data, I guess, I guess gyroscope, from the phone. I'm not sure exactly which sensor it uses, I can't remember that much. But it uses whatever sensors from the phone, and it uses it as a mouse output. 
we can see right here, mouse, free track, all these different sensors that it um, outputs as. So I like using the mouse just because mouse is the easiest thing to use. I'm able to use it on Minecraft and Portal and different things like that. But um, I'm not going to go, like I said, I'm not going into all this stuff. Seriously, with these, you just uh, make sure they're connected and you plug it in, make sure it works. All the other settings are up to you guys to decide. But downloads in the description down below. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think you can affect, or I don't think you can change what screen size and all different stuff like that with V-Ridge. But I know with Trinus, you get to change on all the different options that you have when it comes to head mount model. Um, I don't have a Firefly. This you get to test around. You get to test around with a lot of stuff. How much um, image size you want, image quality, everything if you want to auto adjust, compatible. Yeah, I'm rambling now, but that's pretty much everything when it comes to connecting the headset there. After you have your preferred method of use uh, set up, I prefer V Ridge, just because it's easier for me to, or it's best for Steam VR games and Oculus games, which is the one I want to use for. We saw how it affects how the Riftcat games work with that, and we saw with a more janky experience. It's not always like that. It's just because my Wi-Fi is being all screwy right now. If you have an AT&T or other non-Verizon phone, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is, a little, voice is a little scratchier now. If you have a non-Verizon phone, you should be able to use USB tethering, which will be a lot quicker. That'll be like really, really awesome, but I just can't do that right now because of stupid Verizon and their policies. But that should be everything, guys. I love you all. Click that subscribe button. And I, will guys, I will see you guys in this next episode when I explain how to connect the um, PlayStation Move controllers and the Leap Motion, which I found a really interesting thing with that. You guys want to stay tuned for those. Peace out, guys.